My walls are empty. Like, really empty. And this makes my office look, well, empty. And frankly, this needs to change. So, I decided to travel a thousand miles with the help of Sal Digital to take an epic astro photo. And whatever photo I get, good or bad, I will get printed massive and hang up on my office wall. But there is a problem. I don't really consider myself to be much of a photographer, and I also don't know the shoot location that we're going to be going to. Luckily, I'll be meeting up with my cool rock climber friend Jordan up in Buffalo, New York. He's traveled all over the world and seems to have a pretty cool place in mind. So he picked me up from the airport and our plan was to leave first thing tomorrow morning, or that was the plan. So, bit of a late start this morning. Uh, su surprise construction on the driveway kind of slowed us down. Also, something you can't predict when you try to shoot outside in nature is it's looking a little cloudy. I did check the weather and it looks like it's probably gonna be cloudy all day and all night. So unfortunately, it looks like it's going to be overcast on the night we're supposed to be doing astrophotography. That means if it's cloudy, we can't capture the night sky. I don't really know what we're gonna do about that yet, but we're gonna go anyways. We're gonna see what happens. I mean, you know, we gotta get something. So we're gonna, we're gonna figure it out. Um, are we finally ready to leave? Yeah, we're good. It's great. I was so excited. Connor, how does my makeup look? I just got makeup. That looks good. No, no. Yeah. So we're actually finally on the road. Jordan, can you explain to me uh, where are we going exactly? Because I've never been. Okay, yeah, we're, we're going to Bruce Peninsula. Uh, we're going to Bruce Peninsula. It's like four and a half hours north. It follows the escarpment. The escarpment starts in, I guess, in Lewiston. It's just this big cliff that goes on a speed bump. Speed bump. It's just this big cliff Hang on. that goes. <laughs> Yeah, that's where we're going. Pretty rocks, pretty water. And it's very dark. And it's cloudy. It's going to be cloudy. It's cloudy right now. After we crossed over to the land of maple syrup and ketchup chips, we snagged some Tim Hortons, which was just delicious. Also, say hi to Derpy Squirtle. He's precious. One thing about Jordan that's kind of awesome is that he randomly decided to collect Mountain Dew flavors. <laughs> you have every flavor of Mountain Dew? Well, so now I've got like... I don't know, probably like 25 different flavors, honestly, of Mountain Dew sitting in my fridge in unopened bottles that I don't know what to do with at this point because I am just still claim to not be obsessed. I mean, it's a lot. It's so many. There's a few. He's not obsessed. He's not. No. Yeah. Mountain Dew obsession aside, as we continue our journey farther and farther north, you may be wondering, Connor, why not just take a photo in Tennessee where you live and Put that on your wall. Wouldn't that be a lot easier? And honestly, that is a fair question. Why am I coming all the way out here to Canada where I could just take a photo in Tennessee? But as you can see from this light pollution map, most of Tennessee, and honestly, the whole United States for that matter, has a lot of light pollution. And light pollution is where you get ambient light coming off of different cities and towns, and it makes it really difficult to see the stars in the night sky. If you go outside and you live in a city, you can see that for yourself. No stars. You go out to a farm, lots of stars. You get the picture. And Canada is pretty much all dark sky. Apparently they have nothing going on here. It's just all farms and empty land. So we should be able to get some really nice photos of the night sky, assuming it's not cloudy, which it definitely looks like it's going to be. And I don't know what I'm gonna do about that yet. So yeah. But the second reason is I just kind of wanted to come to Canada. I've never been uh, and this should be fun. Just in case it's a little cloudy, I thought we'd capture the galaxy for you guys, so there you go. Between the late start to our morning and the clouds casting doubt on whether we would even be able to shoot the stars or not, I was definitely getting a bit nervous. But we finally arrived at the campsite and I was excited to start exploring Bruce Peninsula after we set up the tent. Hey Jordan. Sa. Check this out by the way. What? Was this your trip in Check out how rad this thing is. <laughs> it's so tiny, but it, it stacks up to probably about yay high. Wow. Yeah. I 
was that tall once. <laughs> it's pretty cool though, right? Oh no, it's awesome. So Jordan. Yes. Are there like dangerous animals out here? Yeah, I guess there's like some, some cougars out here. I know there's bears out here. Okay, do we bring bear mace? We did not, why would we do that? Bears, they look cute. Yeah, I guess they're kind of cute. So now that we're here and set up, I need to refocus in on my goal, which is getting an epic astro photo. Now, remember, I'm only here for one night and whatever photo I get, good or bad, I will get printed and put up on my office wall through South Digital. So if I get a bad photo, that would suck. So we're finally here. We're finally going to the, how far is it to? The spot uh, maybe 20 30 minutes maybe okay 20 30 minutes so we'll get there around seven um it is an 8 23 sundown so we'll have just a little bit of time to hopefully figure out how to compose uh some sort of a shot before it gets dark tldr we messed up okay so this isn't the exact location that we're going to but we think we can see the water from here ahead of time oh yeah it's it's cloudy kind of oh wow it looks like the it looks like the ocean I mean, it's cool looking, but it doesn't really look very blue. I mean, the sun's kind of peeking a little bit out there. Yeah. Definitely not the spot we were going to, but still looks cool. But I mean, honestly, if I was like, yeah, I'm at, I'm at the ocean right now in uh, California, it's a little cloudy. I feel like you'd believe it. I'm starting to see why Jordan picked this place. It is absolutely beautiful. Wow, I really I really hope those clouds break tonight. If the clouds break, we may just be able to get a good photo, but we still need to find the best location to set up. This is the spot? Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. No, I see it. Oh, wow. And I definitely need to look where I'm stepping. Don't I? Hey. Oh, oh, I'm coming back. You're what? That, you're what? That's deep enough. What do you mean? Jump it. To jump it? Yeah, that's that's. Oh, yeah, I'm coming back. No way are you talking about jumping down. Oh, yeah. Not 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 today. It's too friggin'. It's it's just cold. Oh right, yeah, it is cold. Yeah, I, I would jump too if it wasn't <laughs> if it wasn't if it wasn't cold. So like this entire peninsula is Bruce Peninsula. And this is the grotto, but to me, this this is Bruce Peninsula. Besides all the people, that's amazing, though. Yeah. See where that guy's climbing up? Yeah, way way out there, right right there. Somehow tripped and almost fell and rolled into the water a few years ago. Over no way. There. Yeah, I like gouge. I was gushing blood. It actually might be one of these scars. I was like gushing blood down here, and I, I like I don't know how I like never tripped, but I tripped and fell and like rolled a little bit and kind of like caught a rock and. I like might have just like tumbled down. It was really dumb. All right, let's keep going. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's keep moving. With the hope that there's no clouds, Jordan and I began to scout out different locations that we figured might be good locations for astrophotography. And to help us compose, we were using this app called PhotoPills, which allowed us to estimate the location of the Milky Way galaxy core. Although as we were exploring, these guys started yelling at me from across the cliff. Okay. My phone's over here. I'm not gonna die, but the keys are in the top pocket of the backpack. What's your IG? Yo, uh, here, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. Are y'all from here? No. Nah. No? Nah. Mark 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 Toronto, Mark. New Toronto. Oh, Toronto. Yeah. That's from here enough for me. I'm from Nashville. So. Nashville? Like yeah. America? Yeah. How's Nashville compared to like Toronto? This is my first time ever here. Is it nice? I, I really think it's. What? Come on, yo. Yo, the oh, hey, Jordan. Yo. Are you about to climb that nonsense? He, this guy's crazy. He, dude, no he way. Is, he's in, oh, my phone's dead. There's no way. He's that little sucker down no, there. What the hell? Oh, he's coming back down. Jordan, he's you, coming you back can't down. hear me right now, but if you fall, I cannot. I can't get you if you fall. I appreciate you not dying. By the way, he's, he's doing this in sandals. I, I climbed, I climbed the rock. You missed it. Dang. You, you missed it. What if I fall here? Wouldn't that be like really disappointing? That'd be pretty. <laughs> you're insane. <laughs> 
As the sun was starting to get low, Jordan and I sat down to figure out what our plan was for the night. So it's currently 8.15. We got like literally just a few more minutes of light. And what do you think of the three different kind of like locations we saw? We had that first one where we were on the overlook looking down. Yep. And then there's kind of like the main little grotto area. And now there's the cave. This is, no, this is the grotto. This, this the grotto. is the grotto. The little cave is like the fake grotto. We might, as we said, we might be able to get the Milky Way here. Right. This could be a good foreground. We've got like a quarter of a moon. Uh, so the foreground might get some natural light, which would be nice. Uh, we've got some flashlights, but that's just wonky sometimes. Dude, I mean, at least it's not cloudy. We've got a chance. I mean, it's clear right now, so. Hopefully those Canadian weathermen are just as wrong as the American ones. You could what? Try to freeze my butt off and jump. In the, wa yeah. in the, in yeah. the water? Yeah. From, it's like right over there you can jump, like, past those trees. If you want it. Yeah? Three, two, one! Holy crap. I never over rotate. That was awful. So at this point, the stress of getting the photo was really starting to get to me. I was already trying to figure out different ways that I could pivot the video if I wasn't able to get a photo at all because it was cloudy. Yeah, we might we might have to pivot. I'm lighthouses. I'm starting to really think it's like okay, we only have one day here, but maybe maybe we go some other places tomorrow which isn't the best. And as we were talking about these possibilities, this happened. It's totally clear. There's, there's no clouds. There's literally no clouds. So it's 11 o'clock at night. We're already gonna go ahead and walk out uh, a little early because Jordan, the skies are kind of clear right it's clear. now. It's clear. Um, Holy crap, yeah, we might actually be able to do this. So as quickly as possible, we trekked back out to the grotto to try to set up and get this photo. Okay, so it's 12.30 at night and somehow, some way, the skies are actually somewhat clear. So this is the setup uh, that we're rocking. I did rent the Sony a7R5. I wanted a camera with a really high megapixel count so that we could get a super high resolution photo hopefully a nice high resolution photo of the night sky. And then I also rented their 14 millimeter F 1.8 lens. Uh, I thought that would be a really nice option. And the rule that I'm using to be able to get this photo is roughly the 500 rule. I'm actually not following it exactly because I think that says I can shoot a photo up to 35 seconds of exposure time, uh, but I'm still getting some uh, stars streaking across the sky in my test. And that's mostly because of how high resolution this camera is, rather. So we did have to tailor that back and raise the ISO, but yeah, we're going to start taking some photos and see what we get. And with the sky clear and the camera set, against all odds, we actually got the picture. Bro, this this is our photo. Yeah, this is, yeah. We got it. Sick. Honestly, I wasn't sure how this trip would go, but it ended up being a ton of fun. At the end of the day, I feel really blessed to have been able to travel to this amazing location with my friend and just have an adventure. But that's dumb, sappy stuff. What you really wanna know is how did the photo turn out? Let me show you. So I definitely wanna make sure I thank Sal Digital for sponsoring this video. I literally spent all of the money that they gave me in order to make this video happen. They are a premium photo printing service and they do more than just wall prints. They also do photo albums and regular photo prints, portfolio pieces, really whatever you need. So if you do any sort of photography and you need photos printed, I highly recommend Sal Digital, depending on how this looks. Yo, that looks great. Here, let me turn it around for you. Okay, first time seeing it. Wow, dude, I love the light streak. The details on the stars just look so crisp and sharp, and even the trees, like I can just see all the little bristles on the, the pine. That's the Sony a7R5 really speaking to us right there. It looks great. By the way, I really want to thank Sao Digital for making this whole video possible. If you do photography in any capacity, I really recommend them. Thank you, Sao Digital, for helping me to preserve this photo and this memory of this adventure. Couldn't have done it without you guys. Leave a comment, like the video. See you in the next one.